Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys, um, probably should have the problem ready, but I'm teaching you guys the Fibonacci number sequence thing. Problem 1137 on leak code, and you just print out the nth Fibonacci number. The Fibonacci sequence, T sub n, defined as follows. T sub 0 equals 0, T sub n 1 equals 1, T sub 2 equals 1, and t sub n plus 3 equals t sub n plus t sub n plus 1 plus t sub n plus 2 for n greater than or equal to 0. Given n, return the value of t sub n. So, uh, let me just get to the thing. So, it's defined, okay, hold on, t sub 0, okay, it looks like 2, so I'm just going to, do t of 0 equals 0 by definition t sub 1 equals 1 and t sub uh, 2 equals 2 I mean t sub 2 equals 1 by definition so these are your beginning numbers and as you go along you add up the previous three numbers so if I was looking for t sub 3, we look at the previous three numbers, we add them together, and that would equal t sub 3, so it would equal 2. So t sub 4, we add up these previous numbers, you get 4, t sub, how do I erase? Um, T sub T sub uh, five would equal these three numbers, and that's a two that just got cut off. It would equal seven, and we just keep going along and along until we get to the number that we want, which would be T of n. So T of n would be T of n minus 1 plus T of n minus 2 plus T of n minus 3. So, how would that look in code? So, we have our definitions, right? Uh, the first three numbers. So if n equals 0, return 0. And if n is equal to uh, 1 or n is equal to 2, we return 1. So I'm going to solve it by putting all the numbers in a, an array. And we return the number at that array, like the t of n. So you'll see what I'm talking about right here. So I'm just going to call it ants. I, mean, I would call it Tribonacci numbers. And we're going to fill up this array with the Fibonacci numbers. So uh, let's before we get into the for loop, I'm just gonna define the first three numbers. So Fibonacci numbers at zero. So this is the zeroth number would equal zero. At one would equal one. Now I'm going to put a quote and at 2 would equal 1. So now we're going to fill up this array after the three numbers and we're going to n. And also we're starting at 3 because we already have the first three numbers in the array. So, so Fibonacci numbers at i would equal Fibonacci numbers at i minus 1 plus Fibonacci numbers at i minus 2 plus Fibonacci numbers at 
i minus 3. And we're going to return Fibonacci numbers at n. And yeah. So this is a fast solution, and it works in 0 milliseconds because. Um, wait, what did I do? Okay, it's because it works in uh, O of n time, which is a bottom-up solution for dynamic programming, and it's just a fast solution. That's why it does it so quick in zero milliseconds, and yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and like and subscribe for my channel, and yeah, bye.